Welcome to my coffee channel. I am Thomas and today I am going to be reviewing a coffee from Morgan Drinks Coffee. Uh, you probably all know who Morgan Drinks Coffee is. Uh, TikTok star with several million followers. Moved over to uh, YouTube this year. Brought many of those followers with her. Has one of the biggest coffee related channels now. Uh, Barista making coffee related content on her channel. Anyway, she has come out with her own coffee brand. I have one of the very first bags from her website. As of right now, she's making two different types of coffee. The Duet Blend, which is what I have, and a decaf. As uh, far as I know, she's not actually roasting, packaging the coffee. She has a company called Wrecking Ball in San Francisco doing that for her. So in part, I guess this is also a review for Wrecking Ball Coffee. Anyway, I'm going to analyze it. I'm going to cup it. We're going to pull shots. We're going to cold brew it. And I'm going to let you know what I think and give you your score on this coffee. I'll be right. I have uh, analyzed the roast on this coffee. Comes in at a 55 on the whole bean, which puts it in a medium roast range. And on the grind, it comes in at 77, which puts it in a light roast with about a 20 point gap between the two numbers, which indicates that it's a relatively fast roasted coffee. So anyway, I will be right back and I'm gonna cup this coffee for you. Okay, we're waiting on our coffee sample to finish brewing. Let's pull a shot. Okay, I've pulled shot. Makes a fairly nice crema. This is a 15 gram shot, 30 gram out. Mild sweetness. Not a lot of aroma coming off of this. Let's give it a little taste. Makes a, I would actually make this a very nice Christmas espresso, actually. It is Christmas time, but kind of a very sweet cocoa cinnamon taste to it. I would say this does make a fairly good shot. Anyway, I'm going to wait for my sample to be ready. I'll be right back to cup it for you. My sample's been resting about 14 minutes. It's ready to be tried. Not a lot of aroma coming off of this coffee. There again, mostly I'm getting like a sweet cinnamon. But sort of very mild. Let's give it a taste. It's kind of like a sort of a cocoa, cinnamon, spice taste to it. Now again, not overwhelming, kind of mild. Nice, bright acidity. Even though it's kind of mild, not overwhelming. This is not a heavy bodied coffee. I would say it's kind of well balanced. has a nice flavor to it, even though it's not an overwhelming rich flavor. It does have a nice flavor. Nice bright acidity. No bitterness. He said it, then it does have a little sweetness to it. Not an overwhelming sweetness to it. I wouldn't say it doesn't really have a big mouthful, big body taste. It 
Anyway, I'm gonna let you know what my total score on this coffee is a little bit. I have my cold brew brewing. It'll be ready in about 12 hours. So I will be back in 12 hours. I'll let you know my total score on this coffee. And we're gonna sample that cold brew. Be back shortly. Welcome back. It's been about 12 hours. Our cold brew is ready. Let's give it a sample. This is uh, Morgan's Got Coffee Cold Brew. I'm just going to try a small amount. Sort of a citrusy sort of smell. Nice sweetness. Nice bright acidity. Sort of citrusy. Actually, I would say this makes a very good cold brew. But anyway, let me give you my score on this coffee. On uh, aroma, it was a very subdued aroma. It had notes of cocoa, uh, spice, cinnamon. I gave it an eight. On uh, flavor, it had a nice brightness to it, but the flavor to me wasn't overwhelming. It was kind of subdued. I gave it an eight. Uh, aftertaste. Uh, this time it wasn't big on aftertaste, wasn't big on mouthful, wasn't big on body, but it was okay. So I gave it an eight. Acidity, like I said, it was kind of nice, a nice brightness to it, nice acidity to it. I gave it an 8.5. Sweetness there again, uh, does have a nice sweetness, not real sweet, but a nice little sweetness. I gave it an eight. Uh, in terms of bitterness, uh, I found nothing wrong, nothing bitter. Very nice coffee, so I gave it a 10 for having no bitterness. There again, mouthful. Uh, it was more of a light bodied coffee, not a big mouthful coffee. There again, I gave it an eight. Balance. Even though I was leaning more towards the brighter side than the body side, I gave it an 8.5. On uh, defects, anything odd about it, nothing odd, weird about this coffee, so I gave it a 10. Overall drinkability, I gave it an 8. My overall score on this coffee, I gave an 85. I thought it was good. But in terms of uh, specialty coffee, uh, I found it very, uh, very average. Nothing really special, nothing really great about it, but it wasn't bad. It was good. It was a good coffee. Uh, the only thing I would say that I'm not sure if I would buy this coffee again was the price. I did check out the uh, prices on Wrecking Ball. They are a company, a roaster in San Francisco. So being in San Francisco, you'd kind of expect their prices to be higher. Uh, their prices were actually higher than what Morgan is selling me her coffee for. Their prices were in the $22, $23 range. But uh, I think with an overall price of 20 plus, five and a half for shipping, $25, I kind of feel this coffee is on the priced on the high side, at least for me. So anyway, on my coffee index, I gave it a two out of five stars. Based on that, uh, uh, you might want to try it. If you like Morgan Drinks Coffee channel and you want to help support her in her endeavors, it was a good coffee. Like I said, I just think price-wise you can maybe do better. Uh, anyway, that is my review for this week. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you've gotten value out of this uh, review, please hit that like button. I really appreciate it. You have a good day, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.